Hey everyone, welcome back to a dog's vlog. This week's video is something I'm very excited about. I'm going to be taking the light rail um, through Seattle and stopping at uh, the first five or six stops um, and doing one or two things at every location to show you guys how many cool things are around UW. Um, for anyone who has never really been to Seattle, doesn't know what to do um, uh, around campus. The light rail is a public transportation opportunity that you have when you go here to UW or live in Seattle. It runs all the way south to the airport um, and it's just really great opportunity for anyone um, to kind of go explore Seattle. You can use your Husky card that you get um, when you first come to UW. Um, it automatically has a U pass on there and so every time you go ride the light rail you just scan your card and you're good to go. So let's head down to the light rail and go explore Seattle. Okay right now Lori and I are at University of Washington light rail station and we're gonna scan our Husky cards and head down to Capitol Hill for the first stop of the day. Dick's Burgers right now, Dick's Drive-In. Um, it's a Seattle classic. Um, it opened in 1954 and they really haven't changed their menu since. We're gonna get some burgers and some fries. It's a definitely a Seattle classic. So we're at Cal Anderson Park right now. We're gonna stop and eat some of our lunch here and then go to Molly Moon's Ice Cream, which we'll talk about later. But Cal Anderson Park is a very popular park here in Capitol Hill. There's basketball courts, baseball fields, lots of green trees and a uh, green area for people to hang out. Um, it's also 11 acres and it's um, a Seattle historic landmark and also it's kind of the beginning of a lot of uh, public uh, gatherings like the Seattle Women's March. Molly Moon's ice cream right now. Super cute. Um, and 90% of their ingredients are from Pacific Northwest sources. And the creator, her name is actually Molly Moon. So that's kind of cool, cool name. There's different um, places, locations around the city where they're at. We're at the one in Capitol Hill, obviously. But there's always long lines, even in the winter. gum wall in 2015 they actually scraped all the gum off the wall to remove it um, they were done with it and it took hundred thirty hours and 2350 pounds of gum was scraped off the walls in this alleyway underneath Pike Place however right after the process was done and scraping it off people immediately started putting gum back on and it's completely filled back up again Space Needle, there's lots of people going in to go all the way to the top. The Space Needle and the monorail that we just rode to get here were built um, for the 1962 World Fair and they're huge tourist attractions here at Seattle and we're also going to go take a look at the Mopop which is the Museum of Pop Culture. <laughs> Where is 
glasses. There we go. You're holding it. <laughs> Hammer, which is near the University Street Station that we just got off of. It's one of my favorite stores in Seattle. It's so cute. It has lots of notebooks, pins, pencils, posters, everything, and it is just so cute, and I love it. Make sure to definitely check it out. the 35th floor at the observatory deck at Smith Tower, Seattle's first skyscraper, and you can see all around Seattle, you can see the Ferris wheel, all the other skyscrapers, it's super beautiful today. so much fun today going around Seattle and exploring it um, and just showing you guys all the cool things that there are. Some of the stuff today I had never even been to before, some of the stuff I've been to a lot of times, um, but I really hope that this was a helpful resource for anybody who's not really used to being in, in Seattle, um, either you're out of state or just um, don't have the opportunity to go to Seattle a lot. Um, so make sure to like this video and also subscribe to our channel so you can see all the other future videos about what it's like to live here at UW. Make sure to tell all your friends about these videos so that they can use this as a resource and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!